I think the game should be on a turn by turn, chapter by chapter, poker face, guessing game, math, like doing all the math in your head and making the most efficient plays. And I don't know, I just, I feel no like works fine for me. we're going to lose some of that. Alright, we mulliganed for KGP and to Kale and to Devour, but we did not get it. Uh, so, in lieu of that, Clock we can... Mm, we could KGP... Uh, I don't like to give up card draw that early, though. we got a timer going, though, so... Something like this... Dagonoth, that's not enough though, because he's going to be a 5. No, that should work, right? He'll be a 5 if we don't get any kind of grief. Alright. I think this game is more about throwing all the most broken cards in the deck and manipulating the path in such a way that you achieve victory. It is right now, but that's not necessarily what it should be. It's the distinction. What is it versus what it should be. And I agree with Shadowbringer. Who cares how much gold it removes? It, plus, there's some cards where you don't have to remove gold. Or you don't have to deal damage to half your gold or whatever. We're going second again. Ugh, brutal. Alright, that actually made our heal more efficient, I guess. So good for us. Gold ladder, please. We are on gold ladder, so we are currently facilitating that decision. It's a weird way to word that, man. Facilitating. I don't, I don't know where I'm at tonight. I had a weird day. I had a very bizarre day. Oh, I hate going second here. Alright. Uh. So, three gold. Do I expect him to go into Lunar? That's this story Probably, it? but I think it's worth the risk. I think I want to just try and grief him here. Linz is going to dominate. Linza is going to dominate until the Linz and nerfs come down. But they've said they've said that Linz and nerfs are like next up. But there will be some time period before between when that the between tomorrow and when that happens. But yeah, Linz is going to be crazy. I'm pretty sure. I actually have a couple Linz decks. I'm going to roll out. Zay is, Zay is dead, unless somebody gets really creative. Um, Lunar is still going to be a thing, because boost is pretty big. I know it's not enough on its own. I can only imagine that the, the reason that Arrain got nerfed so hard was they had internal data showing just how broken it was. I can only imagine that that's the case. Um, wait, we gotta, we're gonna play Kaizaj here. Uh, I hate to take the weapon in the next round, but I'm afraid, that, uh, you know what, that's fine. Uh, I'm afraid that we're gonna get staggered here, but, um, that's fine, let's play that's that. this story written. Zay, <laughs> it can hit hard, but the problem with Zay is if, if you can't finish somebody with Zay, with all the other nerfs considered, I don't know that there's enough ammo left in the deck. Not that's not like looking at Zay in like a uh, in a vacuum, but just when you consider everything else that happened as well. Dude, Toads haunt me more than Zay does. To be honest, that's totally true. Draylock. One AP rain is inconsistent. Very true. The funny thing about the Zay is now you can gain cannonballs all game and then do Earth Blast Zay combo for six gold. I mean there's still potential there. I I, I gotta figure they play tested some of it. So yeah, I don't I don't think it's like just dead. This is a very bizarre hand. I got my Lady Zay today in a deck. 
Oh, you know what? That's fun because you'll be able to uh, totally disenchant it for uh, full crystals tomorrow. So congratulations. We're at six base. How? No. We can't do that against a rain because he's going to play Cedrindor. I always butcher the naming scheme there. Uh, he's not going to be able to Cedrindor and grief our weapon, but that's uh, now we go second, so he could do one on turn one, one on turn two. Uh, that's this story. So we could do like. Now, we could do like Kaizaj into Redbeard. And do a heal. It's not, it's not, uh, guys, we gotta play. Okay, yeah. that's what I meant. That's why we couldn't do. That's why we couldn't play uh, some crazy Jad turn. You always gotta expect a counterplay. Now we only take four damage from Redbeard, that's fine. Be back later reading time. Alright, man. I hope you're reading something good. I'm a huge fan if you guys have read the um The Magicians trilogy. Love that series. It's by the uh, book reviewer for the New York Times. Um What's his name? No, I don't need to watch Always Sunny right now. Well, I always need to be watching Always Sunny. It's a fantastic now show. For their final I'll look him up after this act. Okay. Uh. Yeah, we're going second. We don't have any weapon grief anyway. 14. 14. Gives us eight. Oh man, what's which magician's trilogy? Oh, hold on, let me. I'll get the author. I can't believe he quit. You gotta play that shit out, man. The, wait, my keyboard's not working. All right, we'll use the tab. Nope. Okay, tablet has a mind of its own. We're not gonna do anything. The magician. Oh man, this keyboard's tiny after this. Uh, for this iPad Mini. J the Magicians. Okay, they made a TV show of it, but from what I can tell, it's terrible. So don't judge it on that. Okay, uh, The Magicians series by Lev Grossman. Uh... Hold on, let me make sure I know which card you're talking about real quick here. I gotta actually, let me bring up the subreddit because I want to be able to look at the cards if we're going to talk about them. Alright, let's go ahead and win some more games here. Uh, Atlas changes, ranked. What's my win record at? I'm going to be disappointed. I think my win record's down. 54%? That could be worse. Okay. I think that counts. If that didn't count... Does anybody know if win win record counts dungeons? Because that's got to be crushing me. Okay. Alright, so somebody asked what I think about Rannis. And I, I think that's the card that makes your maximum health 15, but I wanted to double check that before I started talking. Sounded like an idiot. Yeah, random strike. Set your max health to 15, 12 armor. Um. Yes, Lev Grossman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fantastic book series. Kaiser Dre Draylock, we're totally in agreement. Kaiser was balanced very well. I'm very. I'm disappointed not that the card's different, but just it feels kind of ruined. Um. Yes, the Magician's trilogy is is a bit mature. It's dis. What is it described as? Harry Potter with cocaine and sex. Rannis Draken is very interesting. I think, yeah, it means permanent mortal. I think it's going to have a spot. I think it's going to be a, 
I think somebody's going to find a deck that's consistent. If there's not... The question is just how much burst is left in the meta. If there's not too much burst in the meta, it's going to be a great card. I, I think it's going to find a place. I think there'll be a place for it. I think there will be a very particular deck that it works with. Oh my god, can we not find the combo? Dude, no. Hey. No, I think, well, like I said, it's going to depend on how bursty the meta is. Well, that's true. Gold Zon will be a serious issue. There's going to be problems, but we're, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. We go first, finally. That's oh, this story written. We're about to get wrecked here. That was a terrible opening hand. That was a... Well played. Let's see, he went second. Yeah, that was well played. He played that in just... He played that bar fight in just the right spot to get... Me to basically take like thirty or as a fifteen damage off of Jad. The problem with Gold's on too is everybody's gonna craft those cards, they're gonna realize how overpowered they are, and they're gonna have to immediately <laughs> refund those cards and nerf uh both of them. I'm not saying they should, I'm just saying if they're gonna be consistent, that's how it's gonna play out. So probably Roven is the best draw here. We go... Go either... Eh, probably go Fledgling into Roven into Dragon Set. Eh, after that point, doesn't really matter too much. We go first so we could drop a Kale or something else. <sighs> okay. We got two dead cards in our hand and one that we can set up. So... We're at three, so we can set up Kale with the, or so we can set up Jad with a Kale here. We're gonna have to play a Fledgling here. I don't want to drop both KGPs because that's too much discard. What if we? I mean, I guess there's no point in doing that. We're not gonna run out of cards. The other, the question then is, do we KGP twice? I don't think we do. KGP once, we hope we discard... Ah, oh, we KGP at all, though. We could discard Jad. That totally messes up our next turn. Let's just survive and advance. Yeah, it turned out to be a good idea. Kale doesn't do too much. We just have to survive this turn. I don't know. Mystic? Mystic could be interesting. So Morwenna basically did four damage to us. That's actually getting getting out pretty easy for Morwenna. So we got Jad first hit or Hope Devourer if we can draw him. Which we probably cannot. We get Devourer. Mm, probably save KGPs for chapter five at this point. Look, Gold Zan's going to be... I don't know. I, I'm afraid Gold Zan's going to be just super broken. It's going to give us a base... Uh, it's not good enough, though, base. Uh, okay, so he doesn't play another bar fight here because he expects us to use our weapon up in whole, maybe? And to Draenor. We go into Draenor with a 4-1 uh, weapon for 7 damage. Mm, if we don't pull it off right, it's not terrible. If we do pull it off, he drops Ogre Warlord down. That's not going to be good enough. Alright, so maybe we take Slime Toes into the next round. That's fine. Uh, he did. He did think we were going to go for the. Uh, he did play his second bar fight uh, well. Not a big deal though. We're only going to take three. I can't keep up with the. Um, 
I can't, I can't keep up with you guys in chat right now on the um, theory crafting around uh, gold zone. Chat is way, uh, you guys. I can't. It's 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 intelligent conversation. Don't get me wrong. It's just too quick. Uh, he's gonna take a kale in, so we need to draw our bar fight now. Or is he taunting it out? If he's taunting out bar fight. Hmm. If we had eight, I guarantee you wouldn't have played. I guarantee you wouldn't have played it there if we didn't have a uh, Black Knight Titan, or if we had Black Knight Titan on a single hit. He's got. I'm telling you, he's. We need. We need to pull a bar fight here because he's going to over. He's going to basically plan to whatever he goes up against. He's going to expect some kind of grief. Alright, so maybe he's messing with me. Maybe he's going to draw out my weapon so I can't red beard. Mm, it's chapter 4. Maybe I kind of let him do his thing. Maybe I don't That's get aggressive. Maybe I just heal up and let it go. Like, let it ride. What could he do with the West? He's got... 14 damage and 2 hits. His base is 3. Our base is 4. Yeah! I gotta play KGP next turn. I cannot lose Black Knight. That's fine. Oh, is he gonna Zay? No. I think we might lose right here. I think he's going to burst us down. I don't think I had any recourse. It didn't really matter. Uh, does he have enough car? Oh, he's going to double bark or toad into Zay. We are going to die. That's 14. No? Okay, he didn't draw Zay, or he doesn't have enough damage to finish this one. There's a couple cards that basically we have to draw to have a chance here. Oh my god, there's too much theory crafting. I'm going to have to go back and read this like a... I have to go back and read this later. This is like a uh, somebody's doing a research paper here. Don't get me wrong, TJ. I appreciate it. Now for the final act. Okay. That's this story written. Does this make sense? This does not make sense. I, I think I'm pretty sure we lose. I don't think I think he's outplayed us here. Hope is too. I don't want to go down that low in health. All right. Alright, we can survive Zay on armor, which is good. Okay. Uh, it's gonna be close. I haven't been counting in my head. Ah, we did survive. Excellent. Not that we're <laughs> not that we're gonna survive the rest of this, but we did survive thus far. So he's got four, so right now we're at nine. We can survive two hits. We can survive two hits, so we do win. Right? Wait. 
10 and yeah, I think we win this by one. Whew, man, that was close. Ooh, right check, I see your subreddit comments. <laughs> which, which one in particular? You're making me nervous, man. Did I say something dumb? Because I do, frequently. And that was pretty neutral for the most part. I didn't take a hard stand on anything. I've actually, one thing, I've looked at all the nerfs, but I have not looked at the new hero. I've got, a, a, hold on, I've got, I know people have more than I do, but I've got 20,000 copper and 2,200 platinum. I don't know if I'm going to spend all that, but I'm going to, I'm going to buy a bunch of decks. Oh, yeah, Trek. Dude, I, I totally, I totally owned that comment earlier, too. Because my, my first thought was, how do you make more win it good? And my first thought was like, oh, well, everybody wants another KGP, right? You can't have too many KGPs in your deck. And I was like, wait a minute. You know every single time you play more Morwenna into KGP, you're going to discard that KGP immediately. Like, that's karma at its best. I think you're right in that the new hero is going to be overpowered before they, like, bring him back into balance. I think most of the time when they balance these games, they want to go. F they they would rather have an overpowered class, especially if it's something new with new mechanics, than oh, under. And it, it's better to go. It's better to make something overpowered and roll it back than to have to like kind of pump it up. I guess I, I'm not saying that's actually true. That's just how I feel like the industry looks at the situation. CCG industry in general. Uh, well, uh, no, well, uh, we got to keep one, don't we? Uh, wow. Uh, if we're going second, basically the question is, do we play value or do we play combo? I think we have to play value. Hey, what's up, gear check? Of course, they want new stuff to be overpowered, so the people spend all their cash on it and nerf all the hell. <laughs> I don't know that you are wrong with that assessment. Ah, it's all set up. I got no follow through here. No card draw. Oh, this is a terrible hand. We go first, so I can drop Kale here. That's fine. I can't even pay attention to this laddering. Dude, don't worry about the laddering. Pay attention to chat, because the theory crafting going on is going to be a lot more valuable in the long run. He's going to roll up into another weapon. And he's going to take it into something nasty. No, he... Took his weapon into a fledgling. That was unexpected. Okay, so he's got a 4-1, but he's going second. Hmm. Alright, anyway, we got a couple options here. That's risky in this particular matchup, but I'm going to play it anyway. King Richard, I'm at plat 5 and playing diamond 1 to 10 players. Okay. Well, keep in mind that if you're platinum 5 right now, we're like 10 days in, 11 days into the new season. You might still be like diamond... 16 when you enter the new rank. Look at that, he was expecting gold grief. In fact, he was trying to draw the gold grief out. It's the only reason he plays that. He plays a 4 1 weapon into a KGP. He was trying to draw out the gold grief. This means he wants to play. Uh, Virago? But it's not going to be a problem. He's going to have plenty of. Uh, Overhit by one here, so he survives this. That's alright, though. 
Doesn't do much to our armor. He's trying to draw out my... He's trying to draw out my, uh... My weapon grief, I'm pretty sure. This is, his base is now at four, because we stole one. I do agree more when it will fit well in a gold zen deck. That's this story written. This is not a good decision. Three, that won't be enough either. We are running out of time. Alright, I expect I'll take damage here. I'm gonna play around it. Thought about playing. Uh, there's the Black Knight Titan, but we go first, so I'm not too worried. You get pretty efficient healing out of that. We did math that perfectly. Uh, it ties us up on cards. And he overheals for no point. Relicism Balm. I only know how to pronounce that from listening to other people. Chapter 4. So this card draw would be good here. Let's see, that gives us a base 6. That's 10. Okay. He wants to play fast, we can play fast. Hopefully that does some serious damage here. Okay, interesting. What's his game plan here? Six. Alright, we lose two armor, that's not a big deal. Uh, we overheal in a kind of a sad way. Ah, I wish I had that card draw right now. What's up, Silvano? What's up, buddy? I don't think anybody's gonna be... So here's one of the things that always happens when they nerf classes or cards, but more importantly, classes. There is an overcorrection. People say like, "Oh, that that's not going to be good anymore, so I'm not going to play it." They they like go too far back in the other direction. I think that's what we're going to see. I think we're going to see a lot of people go, "Oh, I can't play Airain anymore. The card that the hero is terrible." When it's really not terrible. Overcorrection, and it'll be a little bit before people start to play it again, and it'll turn out that it's not like a terrible class. That might not be true, but That's I feel like it's a pattern that we see pretty often. King Richard, sorry for the Zay. He's gonna draw, Ver uh, not Varago, he's gonna draw... I feel like he's gonna draw a big weapon here, and we're gonna lose on that alone. Wait, is that the last hand? That's the last hand. Bar fight. He's got nine. We go first? I think we win. Because we play first. 
Yeah. Woo, that was close. Some cards might have been hit a bit too hard. I don't. I actually think it Kale is going to have some really interesting combos. I think Kale is a really interesting card right now. I think Kaizaj was a really well balanced card that did not deserve the nerf it got. Going first is not OP. He probably had a big weapon. He just didn't draw it. If he'd drawn the right weapon, he might have like destroyed me. It might have just been that he just could not draw his uh his killer weapon. 